What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Sorosin Gaming and welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at the brand new game Grand Saga released recently in South Korea by NPixel. Grand Saga is an action combat game that I believe is also an MMORPG. I was able to see other players in the world so I'm assuming it is. Now I was super excited for this game to release. I seriously thought it might give Genshin Impact a run for its money, but unfortunately I was wrong. Grand Saga doesn't have a character creator, instead you have to pick three characters from the group you've been interacting with during the opening of the game. There's no customization of the characters at all in the early stages of the game. I was so disappointed, I thought that you could at least make the character unique to your playing, to your game, but no, they just all look the same. I did however see others looking different from my character, so maybe I missed something or or maybe it's some kind of uh, cash shop thing that I don't know about as it's in Korean. The visuals of Grand Saga are quite impressive, definitely a pleasure on the eyes. The style is anime and at max settings the scenery and character models do look pretty decent. The biggest disappointment in this game is that it is 100% auto play. There is auto pathing and auto combat so you just have to sit there and watch your characters do their thing. The only thing you need to worry about in combat is moving out of enemy attacks as well as using a skill's ultimate ability. Also, you have to keep an eye on your partner's ultimates. The character portrait will begin to glow when they're able to use an ultimate skill. I gotta admit, swapping partners mid-combat has a cool animation though. The other concern I have is with this being an MMO with a gacha system. Your weapon gains more powerful skills and ultimates through the gacha system. I have won multiple SSR rated attacks for my characters which also if you earn extras you can enhance them even more to make them even more powerful. Whale players, those are people who spend lots of money, will have a blast with this I am sure. While the free to play players as usual will be left as very weak in comparison. If this truly is an MMORPG, it's a poor choice to have a gacha system for the weapon skills. Although the drop rate doesn't seem too bad, I do have quite a few SSR skills so it's not all bad. It's still bad but it's not all bad. There are plenty of cinematic story scenes to watch with also scenes that are unskippable. As annoying as that is, they reward you with gacha gems to ease the pain. Though I'm only complaining about unskippable cutscenes because I don't understand understand what's going on since it's in Korean. Once Grand Saga comes to global, I'm sure I'll be a lot more invested into the story. Each character also has what looks to be a talent tree and I was surprised to find out that upgrading armor does change the appearance of your character. That is of course a major plus for me, I always enjoy visual upgrades when you get stronger. Grand Saga seems incredibly generous with their freebies at the moment and I've been able to earn plenty of gacha gems for times 10 summons. Naturally, I'm sure this will get harder to earn as time progresses and you run out of tasks to earn free gems, but in the earlier stages it is indeed very generous. I don't know what else to say about Grand Saga. The way the game was promoted I was expecting something a lot better than what I experienced. It really just feels like a standard gacha action combat game. Nothing new and exciting about it and the autoplay is just incredibly disheartening. This truly was not the game I had hoped for. Shame on me for thinking it would be some amazing experience. I'll just have to wait for Tower of Fantasy to hopefully blow my mind. Grand Saga is out right now in South Korea. You can play it using a VPN if you are desperate to try it out. I had no luck with solo VPN but I was successful using ExpressVPN and their 7 day free trial. So that's my first impression on Grand Saga. It was not what I was expecting. A disappointment indeed. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please drop a like and subscribe if you did and also perhaps hit that bell icon if you'd like to stay up to date on all my upcoming content. Take care, be safe, this is Saurus in Gaming signing off.